Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Mystic Tarot. My name is Nia and today's video is for all star seeds because we will be asking spirit to reveal to you what your galactic past life was like. I'm very excited to do this. I hope you are too. As you can see, you have these three beautiful groups to choose from today. For group number one, we have the card 33. It says creation and eagle on it. And with it, we have this beautiful moon phase fluorite crystal. For group number two, we have card number 35. It says butterfly, twin jet and change on it. And with it, we have a pink a good star crystal and for group number three we have card 37 it says helix eye of god protection very powerful and with it we have a green fluoride moon crystal all you need to do now as always is to focus your attention on today's topic close your eyes take a deep breath pause the video if you have to and when you think you're ready to see which one of these three groups cause your attention the most, don't overthink it, just let your intuition decide. And then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group. So I will see you there. Welcome to your reading group number one, everyone who resonated with card number 33, Eagle, Creation and this pointy moon face fluorite crystal so we are about to unlock your galactic past life memories um, and I am very excited to do this I'm getting very intense energies from you already it's just important that you open up your energies to spirit and to me allow for us to read you all of this information is stored in your soul so you can access it and you can allow for anyone of good intention to access this past life memory as well and there's something so powerful about this. Just know that this is a reading for the collective, so not every single detail will resonate. What doesn't feel right for you will just be for someone else. Only take as yours what feels like it's your message. Um, but guys, you are ancient souls. I'm getting this ancient, ancient, ancient grounded energy from you. Like... Um, this sounds weird, but this is what I feel like. Like, I feel like I am talking to a huge <sighs> rock formation. Like that, it, in a very positive way. Like, it's so heavy and it's so ancient and it's so old. And what I am seeing, and remember, you have many, many, many past lives on possibly planet Earth and, you know, other in other dimensions, this is just one that we are seeing here, but a very significant one. And the landscape that I see looks like, I see mountains, or what us humans would describe as mountains, huge rock formations. And I see a lot of dark gray and that might sound depressing to human ears, but to galactic ears of understanding, this just represents groundedness and extreme condensed energy. So it, there is there was where you were before, energy density and just ancient 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 energies also guys and I want to do a reading about this soon um I feel a strong connection to the Egyptians and you know that scientists up till this day have no proper explanation how people back in those days were able to build the pyramids and I see pyramids so I think that, oh my God, and I have a pyramid here. I did not do that intentionally. It's just lovely Tina sent this um, wonderful crystal thing to me and I wanted to use it today, but that's no coincidence. I see a pyramid, guys. You and your past life were galactic, but your galactic tribe kind of influenced ancient civilizations. Um, 
Wow, I see pyramids. So these pyramids, you know, where do they come from? Our pyramids, they they are our otherworldly concepts. So I don't know, do you guys have a fascination with Egypt and an this ancient culture or just pyramids? You know, you don't find them only in Egypt. But that's literally what I saw here for you. Now, 3-3 three, three is an extremely powerful number because 3 is often considered the number that kind of holds the universe together, 3 and 9. Um, in numerology, but not in mainstream numerology, often is associated with how the universe works. And so, and look, here we have these kind of... These beings, I know this is nebula, but what I see and I read everything intuitively is what you might have looked like in your past life. And um, you might have looked somewhat like a like really dense energy being that when it presents itself in a physical form, it looks a little bit like like a rock or a tree. Very, very tall, very massive I feel like you were very massive in um, the physical and I'm not sure to what extent you were really physical in that past life. You were obviously extremely energetic and spiritual as well. But I feel like your energy field was so intense and huge that if you were to bring it into one being, that being must have represented as something really, really huge and tall. And for us little humans, pyramids are huge, but for you, they were small, okay? I see this tower of a being. If you are tall in height, it might be because you were in your galactic past life really, really tall. Or if you like tall people, if you wish you were tall, if you like tall buildings, guys, or tall anything, anything that is really high and massive, if you love the mountains, that could be why. Um, and here it says creation. And I see this eagle as a spiritual messenger. So I feel like in your past life, you helped the earthlings create. And that makes so much sense if we again think about the pyramids. So you and your tribe, you sent information. And I don't know how to planet Earth. You might have even visited planet Earth in order for the human race to build something amazing. And this ties back to ancient knowledge. And again, look, I see this as a tower and you know how there are ancient buildings all over the world. And I don't probably remember now where I saw this and where exactly it was, but I saw a documentary about um, some ancient buildings in a jungle in Southeast Asia. And they had weird like tops and some scientists believe that they worked as antennas because back in those days, people believed that they would channel information from the universe. So I see antennas as well. Like you and your galactic, galactic past definitely worked with the humans on planet Earth, which is why you might have decided now to become one. Amazing. I love these types of readings, guys. Um, let's continue with these lovely cards that were sent to me by lovely Lori. And look how they are so like galactic. Look at that uh, shine, that um, chromatic halo effect. I love it so much. So spirit, what else can we find out about group number one's past life as a galactic being? And you... You know, with the number three, definitely worked with uh, the Earthlings, but also maybe with some other galactic tribes from different systems. Or you had on your star planet platform in the galaxy, you had other beings there helping you on this project. Guys, how amazing is it that I pull 34 now? So this is Steps, Omega, Limitless. And here we have a, this is a Goose. Okay, geese have a lot of um, meaning in northern mythology. So I love how this galactic um, energy here also makes me think of earthly ancient mythology and cultures. So, and this goose here, 
has his or her eye illuminated and again like another like bird limitless so in your past life you had limitless potential limitless potential to create amazing things and you lived in a highly obviously highly evolved uh, system and you were so highly involved that you wanted to expand your consciousness and your energy potential to other worlds and it was easy for you to reach planet earth there was no limitations between you and i really believe that um now you're a human obviously you decided to come here and guys there's a pyramid shape here there's a triangle in this you decided to come here because you have been working with earthlings for so long so you just now wanted to know what it's like to be one freedom 22 guys you have two angel numbers here do you understand that three three two two so whenever you see three 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 i don't know how many threes or how many twos in a row that's a sign from spirit and it's probably when you are most in tune with your galactic past life and again we have a feather creature on here feathers so even if you find feathers that could be a sign from your higher self from your guide that you are supposed to be reminded right now in this time as an earthling of your galactic past life and maybe reconnect to this mission of creation that you were so passionate about in your past and um so this constellation might also have great meaning to you, the um, Pegasus constellation in the night sky. Maybe do some research, try to find it. If you have the Astro app um, that many people talk about, freedom, freedom. So we will um, get some tarot cards to find out how this mission from your past galactic life now translates to your earthly life, because definitely you are still on that mission. <laughs> And you will know what this is. Um, and there could be something, honestly, for some of you, and you will feel this in your heart if it resonates, that you kind of broke free from this galactic system that you were in. Because obviously in divine timing, it was your time to take on the next chapter. But there is something about freedom, breaking free, and this Pegasus just jumps off the edge of this rock formation and kind of flies down to planet Earth through this blue hole here. So we will see what that is. We will see what that means. But really, really love it so far. If you love it too, it's very important that you show me by thumbing up this video. Tell me if you want to see more starseed content. And uh, if you don't know what to say, just comment, I don't know some angel wings for the pegasus and if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe subscribe it's free guys subscribe and turn on the little bell so that you won't miss out on my next uh, galactic reading i'm enjoying them so much and i want to do many more but only if you are interested seven of earth and this person he looks like an elf but he has feathers on his ear and has this little fairy. Seven of Earth in the reverse. I'm getting a strong sensation about... Um, this might sound weird, but why does it sound weird? I don't know. It might sound logical to you. I hope it does. But honestly, I believe that in your past life and in this dimension, you had some kind of conflict with the beings that you worked with and you liberated yourselves from them and you decided to become an earthling. You're not completely happy here, but you are very in tune with earthly energies because you've been helping earthlings for so long. And you now see that you have more potential to be authentic and work on your course than in this past life. But you still have connections to this past dimension. You might have a spirit guide or like a starseed ancestor from there trying to reach you right now. And you are waking up. Yeah, I'm getting it now. You're waking up so they will reach you more and more. And they send you angel numbers and possibly feathers. Is that correct, spirit? Yes, the page of earth, guys. Here we have the fairy again. So someone's trying to reach you. And um, we will find out now if they are still in that dimension or if they have come with you, but they haven't decided to be in a human um, body 
they might have decided to be in a nature spirit kind of body. Guys, we have so many dimensions on planet Earth that we cannot see, but they coexist here in parallel dimensions on planet Earth. And one of those dimensions is the fairy realms, the nature spirit realms. And if you like nature spirits, and you don't always have to think of fairies, you can also think of or mythological creatures that are tied to nature you know like gnomes there are benevolent and malevolent ones like gnomes and dwarves and elves and nature demons good and bad okay if you feel interested in those it could be because you have a galactic ancestor who came with you but who is in that dimension they're not a human form but someone here is trying to reach you like who is this please trying to reach group number one and where are they where are they okay yep six of earth they are here as well but as i described it in a dimension that is not visible to the human eye, but that can be felt and you can communicate with them. I really strongly, highly do believe that you have this ancestor who also wanted to break free because there was some conflict in that old dimension. It came with you, but they are in a different dimension on planet Earth, but it's time for you to find each other again. So if you have that feeling of... Um, loneliness or solitude or that you like you're missing someone but you don't know who it is that you're missing if you don't feel complete is you're missing that old partner from your galactic past and they can see you but you can't see them now how can you like connect them how can you connect the four of fire love it and we have a fairy here again. So definitely a nature spirit. And you can connect through music. And like, I don't know if you're into that. Only do it if you're into that. Like trance music, like binaural beats, um, meditation music, singing bowls, certain instruments. If you meditate using music that you vibe with, and if you meditate out in nature, this old ancestor will reach you and you can communicate and you can reconnect and you can find a new cause to be working on here on planet earth but you're here for a reason and they are definitely family this is the four of wands okay you're definitely family soul family for sure so this is really beautiful guys let's get some more cards because i have more and uh Lori sent some more cards and I'm so thankful to Lori and to the person who suggested these cards to me because I asked um, if anyone had um, a really good like starseed alien deck that they could recommend and thank you like you will know who you are if you're still watching and then Lori got them for me. Thank you so much to these two people. If anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wishlist link down below. You will see them a lot more often on my channel if you want to see more galactic content. So let's see if we can find out more about you and this being's past connection. Maybe can we find out the name of the star or planet or dimension that you inhabited or something? One hundred three, guys, guys. If you're still here, if you're still watching, this is your treat. Have I not been talking about parallel dimensions? Have I not been talking about you and this partner? Yes, I have. So they don't have to be romantic, okay? This is just soul family, okay? Family isn't always blood. Family isn't always love, okay? Spiritual sovereignty, but you are like divided. And I don't know, as a Sani, this is probably relates to um, a um, astronomy phenomenon or like a planet. Y you can research this. I certainly will after this reading. But you wanted to be independent. You and this being, you were done. You escaped. So now it's just the issue is that you need to find each other again here and make things work here. Um 
what more can we find out, please, about this connection, about this being, about your past with this being? Okay, so this is weird. Like, I'm, I'm going to take this card because the way that it, like, rolled off my um, arm, but this also, embracing transition, serious present. So, obviously, not everyone here will have a past life on... Um, Serious A, B, or C. If you have missed my serious readings, definitely watch them. They were very powerful. Um, but embracing transition. So spirit is confirming you and this being you wanted to transition, break free. So that is confirmed. You might come from serious. And what is this? Um, how do you pronounce that? Play pliates. I hope I'm saying that right. Pliates. I hope I'm saying that right, guys. Um, that's where you might come from. And I want to do a reading about these beings as well. Um, seeking karmic balance. Look, you are here on a mission to seek karmic balance. And this has to do with your relationship with them and maybe your old tribe. And also, you are here to learn about you maybe you and this being just came here rebelliously for a short amount of time to learn about life on earth and bring that knowledge back with you to where you came from and um, the people on your home in your home dimension weren't okay with that but you were rebellious okay and you are studying the human side where your partners here are studying the more um, spiritual side on planet earth energy transmission Arcturus I have a strong connection with the Arcturians I really want to do a reading about them as well let me know if you're interested and again we have two people here and it says parallel guys um if you're still watching this is so for you parallel parallel two two okay and um 10 10 10 is about closing cycles so energy transmission this being they know that you are like um, a team and if you feel drained and lonely and sad it's because you're missing your partner's support and know that you can connect if you do what i told you to do here and not only will you get like signs messages from them but um they will help you transmute your negative energies you will charge each other's batteries so please work on connecting with that um lovely karmic um galactic partner of yours so Wow, this is all I have for you for now. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up if that's the case. Otherwise, take very good care. I hope I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading, group number two. Everyone who resonated with card number 35, Butterfly, Twin Jet, Change. And this lovely pink agate star. So we are about to find out about your galactic past life. We will be unlocking these memories with the help of spirit. Just make sure that you allow for spirit and me as your reader to read your energies. These memories, they're all stored within you. You can access them and you can allow for anyone of good intention to access them. So please do that right now. Time and space are, are irrelevant. It works. Just know that what you're about to hear, not every single detail might resonate. Only take what feels like it's your message, what doesn't feel peaceful about it. It will be for someone else. But yeah. So you guys, I'm getting very <laughs> positive energies from you. And I love that. I really needed it. Like I'm getting love and excitement and joy and happiness from you so while obviously you might have your dark and gloomy days i feel like your soul essence is that is just joyful and um like the color pink you might not be a fan of the color pink but you know what it radiates is just this uplifting energy um and butterflies all obviously stand for transformation. And you, in your past life as a galactic being, wanted a change. And we all do. That's why we incarnate over and over again. Because we want to change and learn new things, you know. We want to learn the good and the bad. But you are very, like, 
adventurous, positively adventurous being, you remind me of the Fool card and the Major Arcana. So you're just adventurous because you are so eager about exploring. And it could be that you get bored easily, okay, and that you never stay with something for a very long time because you constantly want to see new things. You're very adventurous. Um, if you're not in this lifetime, just know that in your past life, you were adventurous. Like You were just, oh, I need a change. I need more. And you are so excited. You remind me of um, what human children are like. They are so excited to explore the world around them. And they get so happy when they see things that adults get just easily bored with like when a child sees a puppy they just love it they love it and it's like they've seen it for the first time and it kind of could be that some children have never been an earthling and when they see a puppy it really is the first time and this excitement comes from you guys um I also feel like many of you could be artists or very um sportive people so you might be into like there's so much energy in you you just need to release it but in a productive way so it could be that you love sports movement dancing um yeah but I see you kind of being out in nature maybe climbing maybe skiing like you just love to be here with your body and like do things and um, also you love maybe music or maybe arts like there is so much potential within you and you brought that with you from your past life okay um butterfly like this is definitely your time to shine right now is your time to bring these this potential to the surface and you felt like you were done where you came from and now it's time to do some magic here on planet earth i see angel wings here so it could be that your guardian angel is actually from your galactic past life um i see something more hang on yeah, I just see beings here that show themselves. They might try to show themselves to you as well, beings from your past life. If you see some weird shapes and forms that are like a mixture of light flashes and uh, smoky, like a smoky kind of phenomenon, then know that it's being from your past showing themselves, beings from your past showing themselves to you. OK, but you, you are very um, dynamic, that's for sure. If that doesn't resonate with you guys, honestly, this might not be your reading. If you don't feel energy dynamics in your heart and soul, then um, you might have to choose a different pile because I see like so much vibrancy from you and you are a very high vibrational creative being and you've come here to like to do some magic. But we want to find out about your past. Um, and I love how the back of this card matches this crystal so well. So um, pink agate might be a good crystal for you if you feel like your batteries are low and you want to charge yourselves up again, get a pink agate because that is you, that is your essence. Or maybe carnelian, any kind of like bright, vibrant, powerful fire energy kind of fire and air energy crystal. So... But we want to find out about your past now. Just know that who you are with your energies, your upliftedness, is was shaped in this galactic past life. So please, spirit, group number two's galactic past. Like, you are such fun people, honestly. I would love to be friends with you. Like, your vibe is very fun. 17, the hunt, guys. Orion. Love that. So Orion is a very obvious um, constellation in the night sky that you can easily find. So you might have lived on a star in that um, constellation. Also, the Orion's belt 
is often used um, in kind of more dark spiritual practices as, you know, have you heard about the Orion's Gate and stuff like that, but I'm not getting anything dark from you at all. I'm getting powerful, bright energies. This is not a Sagittarius, but it reminds me of Sagittarius. I am one and Sag energy is just really outgoing and adventurous and full of excitement. And you guys, you were, as I told you, on a hunt for new excitement, like a happy, like I said, puppy. And here we have two dogs. Like, you know how excited dogs get when you just, before you take them on a walk? That is your energy. So I feel like you have a strong connection with um, the constellation of Orion and the stars that make it. That's literally where you could be coming from. Is that true, Spirit? Vows. And this card wants to be seen as well so i'm gonna pull four for you from this deck um courage this is a centaur but she also looks like a sagittarius so there's like sag energy here you could be one you could have a lot in your chart if not it's just the vibe that you have bright star you come from a very very bright star where everyone was just so eager to do things and like where everyone was shining that brightest light and your light was so bright you said okay time to like shine up people's darkness on planet earth you are also a very courageous just um being okay and here's something about a vow like a promise that you made and i love that um isn't um ursa major isn't that um the great bears and that where the actorians are from where actorius is from you might be actorian as well okay yeah actorian if that resonates with you tap into these emotions maybe like you could be actorian um number 15 so we will find out using the tarot what this vow is that you made this promise you made a promise to maybe source to the divine to spread your light um and your energy in dark places because you are courageous enough to live on planet earth during these dark dark times but yeah Let's see. Let's see. And guys, if you enjoy this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Only if you thumb up my videos, I know that you want to see similar content. So thumbs up for more star galaxy readings. And um, comment. Comments really help. Comment a bear emoji or a star. And if you are new and would like to stay, join the Purple Heart Tribe and subscribe. And turn on the little bell so that you won't miss out when I post something new. Go on to do many more star readings. The Ten of Water in the Reverse. Buddha. Guys, and this Buddha here is dropping like what looks like orbs. The Water Planet reminds me of Sirius B. Did you watch my Sirius B reading? If not, watch it. It's on my channel. That's the Aquatic Star. So some of you could be from Sirius B, where everyone is really in tune with their emotions. And you said, okay, I want to bring happiness to planet Earth. And you might make people happy by just being the high vibrational you that you are. Maybe you're very funny, make them laugh. You help them out. Maybe you help people exercise and do sports. Or maybe it's your art. But um, you come from... An aquatic planet, probably, if that resonates with you. But where you come from is where everyone had so much happiness and so much emotional fulfillment that everyone was just a bright, bright star being. Oh my God, 17 in the reverse. So many of you will be from Sirius. Spend some past lives on planet Sirius. Blue star energy for sure. You come from a star. You come from a bright, bright star. Maybe you even were a star. Many um, children who remember their pre-birth memories say that they were stars that chose to be a human. Okay, we are all made from stars. There are many quotes and poems and sayings about that. You come from a far away star. Well, maybe the star was quite close. Obviously, there's a big audience watching these readings, but 
do you have a feeling that you come from somewhere close or very far away but definitely a different star is where you come from and this is such a beautiful star okay this is not like a difficult one to be on it's not a highly intellectual or technical one you are more of a creative um emotional bright kind of star so do some research what kind of um ets are emotional and loving and kind of delirance come to mind as well you know so i don't get that you are from somewhere where there was a lot of technology and intellectualism you come from somewhere where, where there was happiness and just bright energies and emotion but I want to find out what this vow is this promise that you made I feel like you made a promise to source to the divine um, and that's why they allowed for you to come to planet earth what's this promise please what's the promise well seven of water guys there you go <laughs> I love that um, so seriously Sirius B. I'm guessing many of you will have lived on Sirius B. Um, watch the reading if you missed it. Um, see this circle of aquatic beings. You made a promise to bring healing to planet Earth. Um, you said to the divine, I am so high vibrational. And I'm very courageous. I'm going to visit planet Earth during its hardest times. I'm going to visit Mother Gaia during her hardest times. And I'm going to uplift everyone by just being this vibrant, happy being. And um, if you aren't doing this already, I feel like I said this before, I see you working with your body. I see people juggling even like, um, please use your gift to maybe work with children or other people and make them excited about physical exercise. This could be so many different things. You could be literally an um, instructor for like gym classes or like dancing, aerobics, aqua sports, you know, aqua aerobics, or maybe you just... Um, do guided hikes or something or you do art and teach people to express and purge their emotions through art but you you need to help humanity by sharing your gifts with them and helping people find a tool yeah to purge their energies and to brighten up and that is physical activity music arts Okay, and that's a promise you made to the divine before coming here because I feel like on your home planet, you worked a lot with colors and vibration. And that really matches uh, Sirius B, what I said there. But again, you could be from anywhere, really. Let's get some more um, galactic cards here. If you two would like to send in some crystals like lovely Tina did and cards like Lori did. I have an Amazon wish list link down below. These are from Lori and a lovely viewer of mine recommended them to me. So I'm so grateful. I always recommend good decks uh, for specific topics. I would love that. Because um, without the person recommending these to me, I would have not known about them. Homesick. Wow. Do you feel homesick, guys? Do you feel like no one understands you here? Because people say, how can you be so happy and upbeat when the world is dying? Guys, don't let other people um, judge you like that. Okay, you are you. And you come from a different star. There's this star cloud. And you really miss your past because everyone there was just like you. And here, many people are very, very low vibrational, very drained. Some are literally toxic. So so just know that you need to do this. And this person is kind of swimming. And here we have Vega. Um, so that could be where you come from. It's also a very, very bright star. Color green. Does the color green? Is there a green star? There are a few stars that, you know, give off different colors. The green star. Have you heard about the green star? I don't know present embracing family do you have a family 
if not you know family doesn't always have to be blood you are here as i said to help other people for sure but yeah i feel like the majority like of your soul tribe is where you came from and you probably had like a really happy family life there so if you feel low sometimes and sad for no reason it's because your soul is homesick missing your family yeah you had more people there let's see if we can find out about them where they are if they're with you or okay i'm getting this might sound weird but nothing is really weird is it do you have a grandparent figure or an elderly person that might, you might have lost them. They might already be in spirit. I feel like they, you shared your past life with them, an elderly person, if that resonates. Seeds of polarity. Lyra, I told you I felt deliverance. So you might be Lyran for sure. I want to do a reading about them, but only if you're interested. So let me know if you want to see a Lyran reading. Number 14 is also the number of uh, temperance in the major arcana. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you feel very torn, you guys. You are so high vibrational and you have so much to give, but density on planet Earth is so hard and you feel like it tears you apart and you want to go back home. Leap of Faith. Orion. Wasn't that the Orion's belt here? Yes. So Orion is coming up again. Present. Leap of faith. You need to take a leap of faith in the present. And um, so you can do this, guys, because where you come from is you literally took a leap of faith to visit planet Earth. You took this leap of faith. And if you feel like in your current earthly life, you're facing a challenge that is a bit risky, just channel your inner Lyran, your inner Syrian, your inner Orion, wherever you think you come from. And this will give you power to do this. Like, do not hold back, please. Because remember where you came from, you made a vow to be exactly who you are and to give to the world the gift of your high vibrations. So don't let anything hold you back, okay? You're not too old. You're not too, I don't know, ugly, too poor, to whatever like your mind will come up with as for excuses. Just do it. Do it for your past self, okay? So yeah, this is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up if that's the case. Take very good care and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading, group number three. Everyone who resonated with card number 37, Helix, Eye of God, Protection. And this uh, green fluorite crescent moon. But yeah, I placed it like this because... I want you to see it as some kind of arch or parachute. That's what I was feeling. And again, I see a green star on here and there is something about the green star. I've never heard people say that. So I will have to do some research. If there is a green star, let me know in the comments if there is a green star because I hear that word so loudly. Anyways, we will be asking Spirit to reveal to you your past life as a galactic being. Just please open up your energies because you have this information stored in your soul and everyone of good intention can access this knowledge so please allow for me to do that to do that and for spirit um just know that it's a collective reading so not every single detail will resonate only take what feels like it's your message but doesn't feel peaceful about it will be for someone else now i know that this will be for me too if this resonates with you guys that we are in the same boat um and I love that the sun is coming out for us a little bit. So hopefully you see some rainbows here shortly. This ladder. Um, I'm getting so many psychic downloads. So I need to ground myself a little bit. But I have pre-birth memories. Um, and before I came, before I became Nia, I was an earthling. But I remember 
how it went in between. So there's something really powerful about pre-birth memories. And um, I think you could access those too if you do a guided meditation and specifically remember your um, karmic life path that you made with the help of your spirit guides. And Helix, well, it's a spiral, isn't it? And um, there is something where you are feeling right now like life is spiraling out of control or you are falling down this spiral and now that life is just so hard for you because you come from somewhere else you might have had quite a few past lives on planet earth already but compared to eternity that's nothing so your heart and soul is somewhere else but here just know you are protected and god the divine source is always keeping an eye on you and can you see it like my rainbow reflections are starting to show up a little bit um, so these are not orbs. If you see these reflections, it's not orbs. Not this time. Um, some showed up in my serious reading. Maybe you see some orbs. Like, let me know. But these are just reflections. Um, guys, so you have lived quite many lifetimes on planet Earth already. But we want to know about the galactic life. Just know that. You've been here for long, but that's why you're longing for like a different dimension right now, especially. We just need to get more cards here. And there is something about, yeah, you are protected, but you are kind of under attack right now. I just need to pull cards here because it's kind of a lot of emotion, but so far not enough information. <sighs> that this also like this image okay look at this image this is how you saw planet earth before you incarnated here you saw it from the perspective of source and then you jumped down like i jumped i jumped through a door that's what i saw you might have climbed down a, le a ladder or you might have flown down on a parachute or something <laughs> so this is what you saw before you came here this is talking kind of about the pre-birth experience but we want to know about your pre um birth lifetime your past lifetimes of spirit please talk about this here to group number three but seriously guys i keep on hearing green star what's the green star the color green do you see the color green a lot please where does group number three come from the galactic past life power acula um 24 so this is obviously constellation here, Acula. That could be where you come from. Do some research what stars make this constellation. There is spiritual warfare. So, and I told, I said something about attack. This sounds really weird, but you might be a star refugee. Okay. You, there might have been a war going on in your galactic past life, some kind of war, and you needed, you were forced to come to planet Earth because you didn't want to be there anymore, like a refugee. Like you are maybe not a star seed voluntarily, like planted here. You, you had to seek refuge on planet Earth. This is so interesting. So if you have anxiety in your life, that could be something that you have brought with you from your galactic past life. Maybe you have some kind of trauma from that past life that you think goes back to this life only in your past, but it goes back to being a galactic being. So there is some trauma. There is some sense of you seeking refuge, some kind of power struggle. What is this, please? What kind of power struggle was there in group number three's past life? Oh my God, dynamism. Look how this is almost the same imagery. Bright star, Vega is a very bright star. Falling eagle. The color scheme is also very similar. So um, you're definitely not um, a victim here. You just did what was best for you and you took a wise decision, okay? And you have not lost your power, but you could not 
practice this power where you came from because other beings pushed you away. I feel like other beings took over your, your planet, your star. And you needed to come here because you didn't want for those to oppress you. You don't want to be oppressed. Now, you could be suffering oppression here in this lifetime. And again, know that you have gone through this before in your past. If you feel like you're oppressed because of your political views, because of what you stand for, this is unfortunately something you're familiar with. But don't let anything dim your sparkle. Don't let anyone dull your light, okay? You are strong. You can do this. And um, you're meant to be here. And just use white light. And look at the cards here. Like, use light to fight against any threat. Hmm. Where, where do group number three come from, please? Balance. Libra. So... There is a need for balance, obviously. And where you come from could be the Libra constellation, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like one of these here. Seven is about moving on. So where you come from, you might have to do some research. I know very little about this, unfortunately. But you... To save yourself, kind of made this wise decision to go away from where you come from and to become an earthling. And now you're still traumatized. You're still out of balance. You have a lot of um, anxiety and maybe some mental health issues that come from unprocessed past life trauma. But know that you will be balanced out here. Maybe do my Mother Gaia reading because Mother Gaia is planet Earth and you come here for healing to planet Earth. I mean, planet Earth is a very toxic place right now. But Mother Gaia has a lot of healing potential to give to anyone. So that is kind of the backstory here. But we need to get some tarot cards now for more information if you're still here and if you are interested in more star seeds and galactic readings please give me a thumbs up i will only do more if this reading is well received leave a comment if you don't know what to say drop a crescent moon emoji and if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe then subscribe it's free and turn on the little bell icon so that you'll be notified when i post something new Tower. Yes, guys. So this might not be what you want to hear, but, you know, we need to kind of reveal this past life trauma from your galactic past. If if you reconnect to past life trauma, you can cleanse your karma. And something came to a fall. And this is kind of also, you have a similar existence on planet Earth where the rulership is falling. The tower is crumbling. On this star, there was this energy shift, but kind of bad rulers took over there, okay? And the old world on this, on your home star planet crashed and you saved yourselves. And I feel so sorry for you and this could be about me as well that we have come to a similar situation. But, you know, we have knowledge on how to handle this that we can bring to the current circumstances on planet Earth, but you escaped somewhere, guys. I'd be really curious to know if anyone knows what kind of um, galactic battles were taking place in the past. The hermit in the reverse, keys, and this looks like a nature, like earthly nature spirit on that door. You escaped, and if you are someone who feels like a loner, guys, if you feel like a loner, it's because you are so overwhelmed, you need alone time, you are maybe new to planet Earth, and you still have so much trauma that needs healing, but please connect with Mother Gaia, she will help you, she will help you, connect with Mother Earth, but wow, and you might be kind of the only one from this star or planet who managed to escape because other people did allow for these oppressors to take over and or they didn't see the danger. If you right now, just like me, 
are one of the people who are criticized as conspiracy theorists or um, people who practice fear mongering because they point out the toxic practices that have been taken part on planet Earth. If you're with me, know that this has happened to us before. Again, like we live out the same story but on planet Earth, but we are wiser now. Okay, we're not part of the sheeple. And galactic beings are not always superior to us. This is something that people need un to understand. They're not always superior. So they have issues too, okay? And this power struggle is kind of an old issue. The sun in the reverse. Um, this is a lady here turning her back on a star. And the sun is divine masculine. So... The rulership on this planet that was star that you came from was again too divine masculine so so much masculine that it became toxic and that's exactly what's happening on planet earth so the same power struggle the same dynamics went on in your past life so this is something that haunts you and me because i resonate with this seven of fire finally um, like a positive card but this reminds me of group number one if you resonated with group number one watch it too there we had a pegasus here we have a unicorn and this unicorn just jumps from the edge here and this i know they are fireflies but it looks like flames and again guys you escaped some kind of war zone in your galactic past life because you wanted to be free. You wanted to be healed. You wanted to seek balance. You wanted to be safe in who you are and be allowed to express that. And um, unfortunately, you've come to a place where the situation is similar. But if you watched my astrology predictions video, you know that Mother Gaia, planet Earth, is blessed with a positive shift. It's in humanity's karma by 2026. We will see a positive change of power. OK, so you are not done here on planet Earth yet. You will get to see what you didn't see in your galactic past life. And that is the good side taking over the good side claiming rulership. And it will be um, energy wise ruled by divine feminine. OK, so you escaped some kind of war zone. So super interesting. Let's get some more um, cards. They were Gifted to me by Lori, recommended by a lovely subscriber of mine. If you too would like to send in some cards or crystals, like lovely Tina also did, I have an Amazon wish list link down below. But you know what helps the most is always liking my videos, seriously, guys, and commenting with feedback. I need feedback. Again, guys, I put the same card in group number two and look how many cards there are. I, I believe it's over 100, um, I don't know, 20 or something. I pulled the same card, Seeds of Polarity. So you might come from Lyra, um, from that star, and you escaped. This is the Temperance card energy you escaped. But trust and believe that you can now have the um, happy outcome that you didn't get to have in your galactic past life. You will see it. If you make it till 2026, you will see it. Number 41. This is a mirror image number here. I also often see mirrored numbers like 1441, guilt. Um, you might come from um, the Pleiades maybe. In your past as well, so Lyra, Pleiades, and you feel guilty maybe if you have subconscious feelings of guilt, it again comes from your past life because you left behind like a burning planet and you decided to save yourselves. But don't feel guilty, guys. Everyone has their own karma. Um, and maybe do something different right now and be there for other people in need or like do something to... Um, Ease the guilt in this current life, but you left behind some kind of havoc. And now that in this lifetime, the goods will win, okay? C 
Sirius. So I love that we have Lyra, um, the Pleiades and Sirius because I've done Sirius readings and I want to do uh, Lyra next, maybe um, the Pleiades or like, let me know um, what alien species I should do next. But yeah, you could come from there, coming full circle, present. Guys, this, for those of you still watching, this is confirming everything I said here. You're coming full circle. You are closing a circle. You are closing and healing some trauma from your past lives in the present. So everything that kind of failed, where you still have feelings of guilt and trauma from this galactic past life, is what you can heal in this if you just make it till 2026 if you keep up the love in your heart if you choose the higher vibration always you will see the good side win this time okay and that's why you've come here to work on on some past life trauma as an earthling but yeah you definitely come from one of these here so that was pretty intense, guys. I hope it helped and that you liked it. Leave a thumbs up if that's the case. Otherwise, take very good care and I hope I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.